Alrighty, as you can see there, I got the flanges welded on the exhaust, so I'm going to go ahead and test it out and see if it works. Okay boys, new exhaust flange didn't work out, but just as I was about to give up for the day, I figured I should test and see if my suspicion was correct about there being a leak here. Now check this out. Looks like that intake manifold is leaking. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off and I'm going to see if a machinist buddy of mine can either mill this flat or maybe he has a belt center that I could use to get the surface nice and flat and then I'll put a little bit longer bolts on there and then torque them down a little bit more and I think that'll take care of that. So if I push this down so this is flat we got about a sixteenth of an inch gap and also we got a little run out this way too so if I just push down here so if I tighten this side and then this side it's not flat I don't think the camera can pick it up but there's a little bit of oil residue here which means we got a leak here there's some there and on the outside of this we got some leaks there so it's not flat and it has some holes in it so we got some major boost leaks here boys Alright everyone, I just bit the bullet and bought a belt sander, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox this thing. Back to the time lapse. Okay, I hit it on the belt sander for about 10 minutes or so, and I'm going to show you how much more flat it is now. So we can grab it, we can just shake the whole desk now.
That's a good ceiling surface. All right, everybody, here's the deal. I did my best to try and get this GT15 to work, and uh, unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to admit defeat on this one. The plan is I'm gonna buy a GT12, and then I'll install the GT12. I don't know if I'm gonna have to change the exhaust manifolds or the intake or what I'm gonna have to do about that. I think the oil drain might be different on those as well, so that's gonna be kind of a pain, but um, you know, we're just gonna to have to step down and do a GT12, and if, if I can't get the GT12 to work, well, heck, I might have to rethink this whole turbo system design. I've had quite a pe few people tell me that I need to shorten the distance from the intake the intake force of the turbo, so maybe I'll see if I can squeeze that GT12 in right there. I don't know, but um, I'm gonna order another I'm gonna order the GT12 and then it'll probably take two weeks to get here and then I gotta make the manifold and all that stuff. Unfortunately, it's probably gonna be another three weeks or so until I can get all this stuff put back together and then come back out here again for a third time and then retest. That's all for this one, folks. I appreciate you watching until the end. Peace!